I'm trying. Something to cut the wire. Something to cut the wire. I don't want to go that way. Shut up! Turn around faster. Oh, oh, a shed, a shed, a shed, a shed. Go, 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 go. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. Shit. Nope, 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 nope. We're winding. I do not want to hear a blood splat. I will melt my brain. All right. Door open. Shit, I can't budge God damn all. it! All right. Uh, break the door handle. Break into it. Shut up. I'm trying. Crowbar. Yes. I can definitely use this bad boy. Yes. Stop talking to yourself, Max. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're trying. We're trying. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Crowbar. Bam. Did it. Score. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. No. 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 Uh. Open. No, I need to rewind. I need. I need to rewind. I need to rewind. Oh, this is getting me all sorts of panicky. Wait, don't remind me all the way back there. I'm in here. We're good. All right, good. Open. I'm trying. Give me things. Wire cutters. Take. Now I can pull a total MacGyver. Yes, we're MacGyvering the shit out of this. Why would you shut the door behind you? In and out. No problem. And lock it. Uh, uh, jump off! Are you kidding me? Max, you have to run down the stupid hill. Nope. Go away, train. Not having any of your nonsense. Uh, pliers. But which wire to cut? I don't fucking know. All of them. Green. Stupid light! No go! Shit! Oops. Alright, we're gonna undo the cut in the wire. Liars. But which wire to cut? Yellow! Please, get me out of Whoa! Here. Short circuit city. Is that what I needed? Oh. Dude. Can I crowbar the crap out of this? I can't even move it with this crowbar? Real? All right. Uh, short circuit city. She said. Okay, so the yellow didn't do it. I yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Move it an inch. Mm -hmm. I'll catch up in chat in a minute. Sorry, guys. Wires. Which wire to cut? Red. Please get me out of here. Now that's yes. the right cable. Do it. Yes! I did it! Huh. Dude, that'd be freaky! Woo. You okay? You saved me again! Oh, did you finish it 10 minutes ago? Now we're totally Oh, no problem. Lurk away, life. James. Appreciate it, man. Damn. That was close. Hey, Fragger, what's up, dude? Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, <laughs> desolate spot? You were around a bunch it of times. It's cool to spend time in your lair, but. Speaking of I rewinding, I found out how to hide from the her stepdad. Hero, Felt like an idiot after I remembered. My powers I will. might not last, Chloe. That's and okay. Literally we will. brain juice Correct. comes out the nostrils, so kinda don't want to do it. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? <sighs> You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours, and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? I'm chaos theory. Uh, it means shit happens, right? No, crazy shit happens. Because it can. 
Come and me. will. Why me? Come me. I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar. Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero <laughs> needs a sidekick. Oh, hi, Other Dog. It's a shitty week, and yet one of the best of my life. Because we're back in action again. Awesome setting up for your ship. Did you stream? Dude, I'm not getting alerts for anyone. I'm gonna have to... Mm. That's upsetting. What'd you do? I have a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. Hey, we're back in the building. Okay. Screw you, Principal Paid Off. So are you going to that Vortex Club party? Like I would Hershey, listen, her. I have the sweetest outfit. Who are you? You're new. I don't know you. Justin always looks stoned. End of the world party. Sounds I wouldn't about right. want to be at an end of the world party with Nathan Prescott. Too much okay. truth in advertising. I was just going to say something like that. They phrased it better. I got more invested in, in this game than I thought. Oh, this one? Yeah, uh, I... I started it up on a whim because I had it installed after playing a game that I was obviously not into very much. And, uh, like 30 minutes into it, I was like, oh no, this is a feels game, I think. And I was not prepared for that. You can really learn a lot about a school by the weird shit posted on the boards. But, uh, it is what it is, and we're going through it. Are you Zachary? <laughs> you mouth breathing dummy. These elite assholes throw a lot of big parties. Another chance for Nathan Prescott to show somebody. Oh, no, I'm done talking to you. Hello, climate change. Hello? 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 No one wants to talk to me anymore. Alyssa! Oh, not Alyssa. Did that say her name was Courtney? Hello? Courtney will do anything oh. for Victoria and the Vortex Club. Hey, Courtney. New person. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. Yeah, I do. I'm not anti-soiree. You seem anti-fashion, though. A Bitch. Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. Uh, everyone is so mean. Like, go out of their way, kind hey, of mean. Ciao, Max. You caught yourself sc no photos, screaming? <laughs> I, come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. I don't uh, blame you. There's oh, been a couple times where I had to, like, just think about a decision for a while. I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. Tell you what, I'll put you down on the guest list, and before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. Fine. Thanks, Courtney. I'll send you the party info later. Back to the list. Ugh. Hold on a minute. We had like 10 gunpowder barrels when Cookie had to go off. We lined them up along the upper deck down to the lower and then shot one. Really? Just all some... That's crazy. I'll have to... I'll check it out after stream. So you can almost shoot somebody on Monday and party on Friday? <laughs> Prescott power. Hey, Trevor. Trevor surveys his domain. Poster. Yeah, we knew about that. Doesn't really seem to stop crazy people. Hey! Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? Do you mind if we talk about what happened yesterday with Chloe? Mm. Yeah, you hit her. You hit Chloe. She got in my face and called me a pig. And I was still wrong. All right, at least you admit you were wrong. Chloe, and I'm sorry. You're a combat yeah. right. veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, 
I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. At least he apologized. Are. So is Kate Marsh. Hated this dude, man. What about Kate? Yeah. What about Kate? You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you Can know something it? about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. All right. At least you admitted you were wrong and apologize, but you need to step up your behavior, sir. Some of the decisions are like, no, I need another choice. I don't want that. Yeah, I totally understand. Uh, well, there's anyone that wasn't a part of the stream and stuff or hasn't seen this, but uh, when we were with in Kate's room, that was brutal. Hey, girl, sit down. Science. Brah. Is that what it's saying? Brah. I'm in the sci-fi lab now. No Schrodinger's kitty. See you soon. All right. Uh, we have a lot of stuff to look at, apparently. I always forget that I need to read this crap. Ha ha! New person. I'll never forget Frank, if only because he's the first and last person I will ever aim a gun at. How did Chloe end up in the sketchy drug dealer's orbit? The weird thing is that when I first saw him threatening Chloe in the Yunker, I was more shocked how uncreepy he looked. I expected some try-hard gangster, but he looked more like a dumpster driving toll. <laughs> I switched my words. Dumpster diving troll. Which I guess he kind of is since we're on his turf testing out my rewind skills for Chloe's amusement. I'm so dirty. Though he didn't look like a serial killer, his vibe, aura, energy, whatever, was bad. I literally feel the hair on my arms prickling. prickling. He wanted the money Chloe owed him so I didn't make sense it would hurt her but I wasn't going to take a chance. So yes, I actually threatened him with David's gun. Ridiculous. Fortunately, none of... I ended up like reservoir dogs and I saw that maybe Frank isn't as scary as I thought. But I don't want Chloe near him ever again since he was wearing one of Rachel's Rachel Amber's bracelets for what the fuck reason. I doubt Chloe will be partying with him anymore. But he's on the top of our suspect list now. Hi, Doggo. What are you doing? All right. Journal time. Oh, my God. We have a lot of journals. Uh, I believe we finished read this one. Yes, read that one. Okay. Just when I thought shit couldn't get crazier, Cl Cl Chloe took me on her secret lair at the city dump. Perfect for Halloween, like where that vehicle and appliance ghosts of Arcadia Bay come out to rot and rust. Urban dystopia porn. But instead of taking cool photos, Chloe had me do some silly kind of fun gun tricks. Until the guy Chloe owes money to showed up. Some skeezy guy, skeevy guy called Frank. He demanded Chloe could pay him back or else. I was shocked that he wasn't the loan shark I had expected, but I could literally feel his bad vibe. Still can't see how my best friend ended up involved with a loser like Frank. Things got truly crazy when Frank took Chloe's gun, or should I say David's gun. And now we have to worry about one more lunatic after Chloe, and maybe me. Chloe really flipped out when she saw that Frank was wearing one of Rachel's Amber's bla bracelets. That means we definitely have another suspect. This is so not how I wanted, or how I intended to spend my time back in Arcadia Bay. I'm trying to play a game, doggo. I'm trying to play a game, doggo. I'm trying. Doggo. You want snuggles? Come here. Come on. Come over here. Come on. Okay. After all that drama rama, volume 33, Chloe and I ended up taking a walk along the tracks deep in the woods. We both needed to hear nothing but the sounds of nature and wildlife. I was shaking inside from our encounter with Frank, and though Chloe fronts tough, I could tell she was shaking too. She told me everything about Frank, which explains why she was trying to blackmail Nathan. It shocks me that the girl I grew up with watching Spongebob ended up in this such a scary orbit. Still, I felt, self with, or I felt self safer with her at my side, that, and I was glad she had a moment of peace. So it probably wasn't the best idea to lay down on the tracks and wax about life, etc. as Chloe's leg got caught in the rail just as the goddamn train showed up. Of course it was off trying to take a photo, or of course I was off trying to take a photo from my portfolio and then I had another quick flash of my tornado vision. I could see it, almost feel it tearing the sky apart, 
My head felt like it was exploding, like in the 80s film Scanners. Just as fast as the vision came in, it disappeared. Maybe I am in denial about what this apocalyptic image means, or doesn't. Then I heard Chloe screaming for help, and it was... I was shitting... <laughs> I was shitting kittens. <laughs> Her foot was stuck in the damn rail, and naturally the train was coming around the mountain. Coming around the mountain. I was pretty proud of myself for coming up with a drastic, if not destructive, solution of saving Chloe. Once again, but just in case this journal ever falls in the wrong hands, it's going to remain our BFF secret. So there. Our morning adventure over, Chloe dropped me off back at the campus. She was so sweet and said that this had been the best week of her life, despite everything. I mean, you feel so awesome. Chloe really seems... Chloe really seems us... Like we're ta taking over... Oh, sees us. Chloe really sees us taking over the world. Well, what if I hadn't been able to use my rewind power to get her off the tracks? Chloe might have, have to lower her expectations, and so will I. Alright. Story time over. Let's, uh... I still have time. Kick out of here. I could go see Warren playing Mad hey, Scapers! I hope I pronounced your name right. Scappers? You have to let me know. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for dropping in, man. In other streamers' Twitch chat. Yeah, yeah! I'm, uh, I stream Monday to Thursday, pretty much. Uh, what? I do recognize your name. Which streamer was it? Was that, uh, was it Phantom? Luke is always using the phone as a shield to avoid people. All right. Hey, Juliet. Juliet is laying the smack down on Zachary. The smack down. That might be where I have to go. Bully me. Yes, what? this poster must stop bullies dead in their tracks. Yeah, there's this school is just bullies everywhere. This guy's pompous. I, I don't Evan like him. So above the vortex club and. Yo, Maxwell Smart. Talk later. Cool. Sure. So you can't help me. Kate. I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. No. Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me. No, Kate. Hold up. Hold up. Kate. No. Stop it. Game! Let me talk to her. Uh, we're following her. I don't care, guys. We're following her until I can't talk to her. Stop! Don't come near me. Oh! I hate this game. Kate. He's hurting, guys. Let's pronounce scappers. And it was detective stream last night. He was playing a hat in time. Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay. <laughs> uh, I want to help Kate. She's the only one I care about in this game. Mr. Jefferson, the fuck, man. What are you doing, doggo? You're supposed to help students. Mm. All right. I bet Mr. Jefferson has had to deal with a lot of troubled students. Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? I'm worried Sorry about Kate, bro. Me, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. Confrontation. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? I do now. Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Oh! Oh, this game! 